Did you know there was a completely free online homeschooling program using the Charlotte Mason method? Ambleside Online is an online resource and curriculum using the Charlotte Mason method that is entirely free. So let's check it out and see if it's a good homeschooling program or not. Before we get into that, let me just give you a brief overview of what the Charlotte Mason method is all about. Charlotte Mason was a British educator who believed in a different way of educating children than traditional school. She believed in letting children deal with ideas and knowledge through exposure to literature, art, music, poetry, and spending lots of time in nature. Instead of doing school the traditional way with textbooks, worksheets, quizzes, and tests, with the Charlotte Mason method, your child will spend a lot of time listening to stories and narrating back what they heard, practicing writing by doing copy work, learning about nature and spending time outside, gaining exposure to music and art, and learning through living books rather than traditional textbooks. The Charlotte Mason method is also a Christian learning method with a lot of Bible reading included. So if you're looking for something secular, this might not be for you. You'll learn more about the Charlotte Mason method as we go through the website, so let's get started. Here is the main page of the Ambleside online website. You don't need to create an account, you can just come here and get started. They have their curriculum divided up by years. Year one would be the first year and usually begins when a child is around age six. Prior to that, there is no formal schooling with the Charlotte Mason method. If you want to understand why it's best to wait until age six to begin, you can read about that here. For the purpose of this video, we're going to look at year one. If you go here, you can see an overview of what your child will be learning in year one. There will be Bible lessons, history and geography, science and math, language arts, literature, foreign language, and music and arts. If you scroll down to the Ambleside Online Year One curriculum, you'll see that it is divided into daily work and weekly work. Daily work will consist of five to 10 minutes of copy work, phonics or reading practice, recitation, math, foreign language, and physical activity. But the main part of your school day will be the daily readings that you will read to your kids and they will then narrate back to you, which is really the basis of the Charlotte Mason method. In addition, students will do these things once a week. If you click up here on year one schedule, you can scroll down and it will show you exactly what you need to do for the readings for each week of the entire year one curriculum. You will break the weekly readings up and do a little each day from several texts rather than reading just one. This might seem strange, but this is how the Charlotte Mason method works. So for example, week one of year one, you would read a little bit of some of these every day making sure to complete them all in the first week. Then you move on to week two, week three, and so on. Up top, they have a printable schedule with everything all mapped out for you, which is really awesome to help you keep track. It shows the weekly Bible readings, history and natural history, literature and poetry readings. In addition to the suggested readings, they also have room for you to mark off these additional daily activities, such as copy work, math, and foreign language, and the weekly activities such as drawing, music, and nature study. If you go to year one book list, this is where you can find links to all the materials you will need for your daily readings. Ambleside Online includes links to as many free resources as possible. There are some, however, that you might have to purchase. You can, of course, check your local library for some of these books as well. It's a good idea to have your own copy of the Bible since there is a lot of Bible reading in the Charlotte Mason method. They have a key here of the symbols that will tell you whether the book is available for free or needs to be purchased. If you scroll down, you can see the suggestions for teaching the curriculum as well as the links to the resources. For instance, let's look at history. Year one will be early history from 55 BC to 1066 AD. They suggest that you begin a simple timeline. If you click here, there is more information on that. The first text, Trial and Triumph, is only available to purchase or is free with Kindle Unlimited. You can, of course, check your library for this title. The second text, An Island Story, is available for free on manybooks.net 
or archive.org. The same goes for the next two titles in the list. So this is how you get to the text that you will need to use. If you notice these asterisks over here, these refer to the different terms that the book is used in, term one, two, or three. Now let's get into a bit of how your homeschool day will look when using the Ambleside Online curriculum. The Getting Started page is a great resource when you're first starting out planning your schedule. If you scroll down to How to Schedule Your Days, you will see that you can plan two or three readings a day for the younger levels and that lessons should be 10 to 20 minutes long. You also don't need to do every subject every day or in the same order every day. Mix things up to keep it interesting and arrange things around your own unique schedule and activities. If you want to take a look at the year one primer, they have it here. They only have this for year one. If you make it through year one, you'll be a pro anyway. It will help you understand how to prepare and be ready to start using this curriculum. One thing that can be hard at first is figuring out your daily schedule. You can come up with this on your own, or you can take a look at this PDF of a schedule that you can follow. There is also a schedule you can print created by an Ambleside Online Advisory member. You will likely come up with what works best for your family as time goes on. If you just come here to the Year 1 schedule, you will get an idea of what you need to do on a daily and weekly basis. Copy work should be done for 5 to 10 minutes a day for Year 1. If you click here, you can download and print copy work paper with either large or small lines. How you do the copy work is up to you, but they do have some suggestions here. This is just basically handwriting practice, which comes from copying from printed work. You want good quality work, so your children are also gaining an understanding of language and sentence structure. You can use the Bible, a book of literature, poetry, or a selection from a history or science book. You can change it up every day, too. At this age, you should also be doing some phonics or reading practice daily. If your child is not yet able to read, you might want to get a phonics program from an outside source. Here they explain how you can find information in Charlotte Mason's Home Education book series. There are also additional suggestions here. You should also do some daily recitation work, where your child will recite certain passages from the Bible or other readings with the goal of eventually memorizing them. The suggestions for year one are shown here. If you click here, you can find more information. For math, you can find a lot of information here about the Charlotte Mason approach to mathematics. For year one, you likely won't need to have any sort of formal math curriculum. I encourage you to read this whole section to better understand how to approach math. If you do decide to incorporate an outside curriculum, there are some great free online math curriculums out there. Khan Academy is one option, and Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool is another. Both offer a complete online math curriculum for free. Math you see is also a popular choice. Foreign language is another part of the Charlotte Mason method that you will want to incorporate into your daily lessons. You can learn all about the approach here and find some links to resources that you may want to use. French is a popular choice to start with, but you may choose another language such as Spanish or any language that fits your needs. You will also do daily physical activity and, of course, read from the weekly reading selections. For weekly work, you will have art, crafts, music appreciation, and nature study. You can click on these links to learn more about each of these activities. For additional reading suggestions, they have a list here. Now that you have an overview of the Charlotte Mason method and how the Ambleside Online Homeschool Curriculum works, let's go over a few additional details. First is the online community. They have their own forum that you can join for help, additional information, and as a way to connect with other families who are using this curriculum. It's free to join and I highly recommend doing so if you're serious about using this curriculum. Another thing I wanna point out is that this curriculum can be quite challenging for kids. The year levels do not necessarily line up with the grade level that your child would be in if they were in traditional school especially if they had been in public school and are just now starting to homeschool. So you want to pick a level based on your child's ability more than just by their age. You can find more on this in the frequently asked questions. Another common question comes up with families who are planning to use this for multiple children of different ages. There is a lot of flexibility here as to how you can handle that. 
Things like art, music appreciation, and nature study can be combined for children of all different ages. For extras like math, you will likely want to keep children working at their own grade level. As far as the reading portion of the Ambleside online curriculum, you can decide for yourself. If your kids are close in age, it might make more sense to keep them at the same level. Whereas if they are farther apart in age or at an age where they're doing a lot of their own reading, you might want to keep them in separate levels. I also just want to make sure you understand that Ambleside Online is not an online homeschooling program. Although most of the materials can be found online, this is more of an online resource than a homeschooling program. If you want to use the Charlotte Mason method and are looking for a great resource to help plan your school year and guide you through how to do this method, then this is a great website. But it's definitely not an all-inclusive curriculum. You will still need to add in math and foreign language, and there are a lot of things that you're going to have to plan out yourself. It's not something to just decide on a whim. You should definitely make sure you understand the Charlotte Mason method before even attempting to educate your child using Ambleside Online. If you've done your research and decided that this method is what you're going with, then this website will certainly be a great curriculum choice for you. Okay, now for the part of the video where I tell you what I like and what I don't like. As always, let's start with what I like about Ambleside Online. Well, for one, I think that they give you a lot of helpful information, especially if you're new to the Charlotte Mason method. If you spend a few hours reading through all the information that they have on their website, you will really learn a lot. I like that they give you printable PDFs to plan your school year and that they have the reading list all planned out for you. So all you really have to do is gather the materials. And of course, I like that they offer all this for free and link to many free downloads of the materials. Now for what I don't like so much. First, I just think the website is a little hard to navigate. There's an awful lot of information on this website, which is great, but it's not always easy to find what you're looking for, especially if you're new to this method of education. Another thing is, I just wish this website was all inclusive. While they certainly have a lot to offer, you will still need to look elsewhere for math, foreign language, and possibly phonics. So I sure wish they had that available, even if they had to charge for it, just so you could have all your resources in one place. Click the video on your screen now to learn about another great homeschooling resource. Thank you so much for watching.